was just going to be making a very brief video today, and it is with regards to Philippians, where uh, I believe it is chapter 1, possibly just chapter 2, I think it is chapter 1 though. In Philippians chapter 1, where Paul says, Wheresoever Christ is preached therein, I do rejoice, whether in pretense or in truth. Now, there is an important caveat to this that I have noticed to a certain degree. And um, one of the first, I'm actually, I'm going to start off with part of my testimony. I used to watch a atheist YouTube channel where they did Chick Tracts. Or um, if you guys know who Jack Chick uh, was, he passed away very recently. And God rest his soul. But um, he was a cartoonist, and he made a lot of Christian cartoons, just like little, little tiny comic booklets. And, you know, they would just cover scriptural topics. I mean, you know, there would be several that were talking about the Catholic Church, the things that were anti-scriptural about the Catholic Church. There were several that were about just like, okay, general biblical teachings. I mean, there were all topics. There were, there's ones about Freemasonry. There's ones about like all these kinds of things. Uh, Islam, the New Age religions, paganism, witchcraft, atheism, homosexuality, abortion, etc., etc., etc. It's like, you know, there are chick tracks for all kinds of things. And they're all very heavily rooted in scripture. Practically every panel uh, actually has a reference to a scripture or, or directly quotes a verse. Now, I'm, I got slightly off topic, but the point is, I was watching an atheist uh, video series where they go through chick tracts and they would, you know, basically be like laughing at them. Now, at first, I was laughing at them also with them, but the more I actually watched them, the more I kind of just got to the point where I was like, I didn't, like, I wasn't interested in all their commentary on it because they weren't really commenting on anything. They were just, like, twisting absolutely everything that was said into its ab into a way that was so, first off, often perverted into ways that were just disgusting. But second off, um, just like constantly going off on their own conversations and blah, blah, blah. And it was just kind of like, yeah, but I realized that I was really actually, I kind of wanted to just like, I wanted them to go through the Chick Tract and narrate the Chick Tract just like, so I could get the actual story of the Chick Tract. Like I enjoyed the Chick Tract, not the commentary. And basically what it ended up coming down to is... Uh, this happened with several other atheist YouTube channels where that I would watch. I was very interested in the videos that involved like Christian media, like if they had a video that were, they were showing clips or like full pieces, like basically full videos of Christians, they would pause it every now and again, and then they would just make their comments and blah blah blah, and they would toss insults and stuff. But it got to the point where I didn't watch anything of theirs that did not have uh, Christian stuff in it. And then I actually started watching some of the Christian stuff, like, in its own original form, like, without their influence. And then I was like, oh, wow, okay. See, without the constant influx of insults and blah, 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 and all these stupid Christians, it makes so much sense and i came to realize how much bluster and bluff that there was on the atheist youtube channels because a lot of them don't actually bother proving anything because they just assume if you're watching their their videos then you're already converted they're preaching to the choir and like, so they don't bother to try and refute anything. They're just like, no, that's stupid. And then when you actually watch, like, the Christian videos, it's just like, 
a lot, or at least the ones that I was watching, it was all very respectful. It was generally just like, okay, these are the things. Here, look, you can see here's this that says this, and then here's this happening right there. See? There's a correlation. First you see, here it is in the word, there it is in the world. This says it, there it is. This says it, there it is, etc., etc., etc. And what it basically came down to is by watching atheists who were inadvertently spreading Christian media, I ended up being able to be drawn to Christ. But this brings up an important point that I was originally trying to get to in the beginning of this video, and that is, unfortunately speaking, wheresoever the devil is preached, whether in pretense or in truth, he's also rejoicing because he's getting his message is spread out further and his message gets to a wider audience and the quote unquote, if I may go back to Revelation, deep things of Satan are spread to a wider audience so that more and more people actually like deep go into them and just like read them and like find out about them and they learn about them. And what it really comes down to is if a person a person comes to one of the truther channels and a lot of times they don't really deal very heavily with um, like directly scriptural teachings or at least you know I mean like the truther channels they'll talk about these are the things that the Satanists are doing or these are the things that are working for the powers of wickedness in this world, or these are the things of the spiritual wickedness in high places, these are the powers and principalities, etc, etc. And they talk about those things, but they don't, there's not really a large emphasis on this is what the scripture says, and this is what the scripture says about how we should live our lives individually today. Because at the end of the day, they're kind of in, a, in some ways, it seems like, I mean, you know, if you watch some of these truther channels, they'll show, like, intermittent clips and stuff from other, from, like, music videos and blah 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 and all these kinds of things that have, um, you know, satanic imagery and satanic symbolism and all these things, and they go through it individually explaining all the imagery and all the symbolism and all these things and etc, etc, and all so forth. And what it basically comes down to, at least from what I have seen, or just the way that maybe it's just I shouldn't be watching those, and I don't really watch too many truther videos that much anymore, but it's like, it's almost like they have turned their focus off of Christ, or at least they're not broadcasting enough about the gospel, they're broadcasting more, hey, so these are what all the evil people are doing. So, this is why you should come to Christ. And it's kind of like... I'm not really sure if I'm articulating myself, but it's just like... For, in the same principle of how I, watching a whole bunch of atheists, preaching... Essentially, accidentally preaching Christ. I came to Christ. A Christian truther watching, you know accidentally preaching Satan can still lead people to Satan. Like, um, if that makes any sense. I'm not... The point is, I feel like some of the truther channels, not intentionally, mind you, I, I want to stress this point. I don't think that... I don't think the truther channels are doing this intentionally, and I do think that this is actually kind of a thing that is a problem, is a quote that I have heard and I've used in some points is, and this video is longer than I really intended it to be, but a quote that I have used before and sometimes is, those who play with the devil's toys will be drawn by degrees to wield his sword. And you see a whole lot of these truthers just kind of like, you know, they turn back on each other and they start cannibalizing, like the truther movement has started like cannibalizing itself. You've got truthers who turn on truthers and like, oh, you're a government shill, and you're a government shill, and you're a government shill, and you're a government shill. And then everyone sees that and they're like, well, you're a government shill because you're pointing out all the other truthers and saying that they're not truthers. And then all the truthers are just like shooting accusations up back and forth at each other. And it's like, 
first off, if a house be divided against itself, it cannot stay. So the truther movement has become ridiculously divided against itself. For the truth to get out, the truther movement needs unity. Second off, there's a whole... I mean, like, the truther movement is one of the single greatest spreaders of Illuminati symbolism on the planet. Like, uh, I, I'm possibly, I'm kind of exaggerating that bit, and I really acknowledge that. I'm sorry about that. I repent of it. That was wrong. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is that the truther movement in general just kind of it propagates those ideas and it spreads them around. I mean, a person can watch truther videos and then just have the education of a 33rd degree Mason. I mean, that kind of knowledge is dangerous if it is given to someone who does not have Christ. If it's someone who does not have someone who has not given their life to Christ, that kind of information, and even to someone who has, that kind of knowledge, that kind of information can be dangerous because those who play with the devil's toys can be drawn by degrees to wield his sword. It'll start out in little ways, but that's why the truthers are always pointing fingers at each other is because, I mean, the truthers are all just by the fact that they are making their videos and posting all of that symbolism to say, hey, look at all the symbolism, they're propagating that symbolism. They're propagating those ideas instead of making a, a channel that is about, and to a certain extent on my own channel, I want to say, and I want to emphasize and stress this, I'm guilty of this to a certain degree. And in some of my, in some of my previous videos, when attempting to, like, when, when I bring up older New Age ideas and things like that, some of the things have probably been bad, and I have probably accidentally, in some cases, spread wrong ideas. And I try really hard not to do that, but sometimes... The point is, I think that the truther movement, in some ways, does harm when it comes to people who are just starting to wake up. Because when I was just starting to wake up to the fact that there was more to this world than the atheist materialist worldview, that was at that moment when, how do I put this, the devil kind of jumped in and he was like, okay, this person is starting to wake up, just need to kind of like jump in the way and be like, oh, see, I know the truth and I can show you the truth. But, of course, then he just led me down a different path of lies. He was like, okay, well, you don't agree with the first lie, so now we're going to show you what's behind door number two. But, what, from the actual thing was, I needed to go behind door number three. And, at the end of the day, um, when people are just starting to wake up to the truth say, an atheist or something like that, and starts watching truther videos that are filled with all that stuff, that can lead, that could possibly and hypothetically lead them down darker paths than the ones that they're intended. And I feel like, yes, it is important to say, look, that stuff is out there, but it's also important not to become too evil-focused. Expose the works of evil... And I, I want to stress, I don't have anything wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with exposing the works of evil. We are specifically called to do that, but try to expose the works of evil in a way that does not propagate the propaganda of evil, if that makes sense. Um, this video has gone on longer than I intended, and I'm not entirely sure if I articulated myself well enough, but I want to say God bless you all, and... I just pray that you all be able to have discernment to know truth and to know good. In the name of Yehoshua, I pray. Amen.